Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions sure, about no it? Sure, no problem. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you again. Um, where, where did David go? So, um, David, do you want to come in? This is one of my buddies, David, did as well. This is Christian. Nice to meet you. So, do you mind holding this for us? We're going to do... Well, I was going to ask. All right. All right. Are you going to come on camera? Yeah, you need to come on camera. All right. So, hey, can I... Can you do this for us? Just hold it there. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So, yeah. So, uh, Christian, tell us a little bit about uh, Regera. Like, oh, Regera. Okay, we're going to say Regera. Okay. You can say Regera. The Swedish, exactly. The Swedish pronunciation. The Swedish pronunciation is Regera. Yeah. Okay. So, can you tell us a little bit about this car? Yes. This is, our, uh, this is our new baby. It came about that I, about eight months ago, came up. I've been thinking about how to make a direct drive seamless transmission with no gears that only has the positives of a uh, combustion engine feel, but less weight and less compromise. Mm -hmm. And I kind of cracked that nut eight months ago last summer. Really? And uh, it kind of inspired us to make a new car model. So this is the ultimate road car. This is the road car. Let's say the Agera and, and its iterations, it's fantastic on the road, yeah. but it's really quite extreme. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's lighter and more downforce than this. It's really like fantastically track focus. Yeah. But this is purely road focus. Okay. However, it's still lighter than a 918. It's lighter than a 918? Yes. Uh, it's going to be extremely faster on the track. Uh -huh. Just not as fast as an Agera. Okay. But on the normal road, it's probably faster than Agera because it accelerates faster. And more or usable around town. It's, it's our guess is it's more quiet, for example, than the Bugatti Veyron. Okay. Uh, it's more comfortable. Mm -hmm. You already had a comfier ride. Yeah. Than already on the RS. Yeah. But, um, and it's got electrical seats. So while we made it a little bit heavier, we put in yeah. the six-way memory seats. The creature comforts. Yeah. yeah. But still, it's light. Yeah. You know? Still, it's lighter than the 918. So, so tell me a little bit so about the drivetrain, though. So uh, yeah, no, it. no traditional gearbox, DCT or AMT, no nothing like that. So you have, if we start from the beginning. It's, it's a crank motor in okay. front of the engine, yep. 160 kilowatts okay. and 400 newton meters of torque. Then you have the combustion engine. Then you have a hydraulic coupling that can decouple the, the crank motor and the, uh, the engine to the rest of the drivetrain. So you can decouple it. And then after that we have a final drive, output flanges. And on each output flange for the rear wheels we have a 200 kilowatt motor on each side with 700 newton meters of torque on each side. So we can get torque vectoring. So only wow. those, only, and we get reverse from that as well, electric reverse. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when we take off, we only use the uh, the rear electrical motors yep. until we get up to around uh, 30 miles per hour. Then we start uh, locking up the hydraulic coupling, and then the combustion engine is at an RPM where it can direct drive, but a very low RPM. Okay. But due to the uh, crank mounted electrical motor, we have 160 kilowatts there, plus 400 newton meter, which is really powerful already at 600 RPM. And then it, those three electrical motors together together with a little bit help of the combustion and it starts bringing the engine up but then you have around 800 horsepower at uh, 40 50 uh, miles per hour so that's more than to slip your tires yeah, yeah, yeah. and then it just keeps on building from there up until you have 1500 combined horsepower and 2000 newton meters of torque which is about 1600 foot pounds of torque are you still running wow. the twin turbo setup twin turbo but we put a little bit smaller on this one okay because uh, we're not we're not fully relying on uh, combustion power yeah and and uh, here it's uh, the name of the game is as much power as we can in low RPM okay. because we don't have a transmission. It's like yeah, starting yeah, yeah. in seventh That's gear. That's right. Yeah. But imagine, you know, everyone has seen the video of the P85D, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 which this is incredible. Have, this have about uh, 30, 40 more electrical horsepower, uh, but it's, it's uh, 600 kilos lighter. Plus wow. you have 1,100 combustion engine horsepower. Then you have a perspective, right? So only electrically, it's much faster than Makes for a really than fun car. Yeah. So why, why do we need a transmission? Yeah. What is right? the price yeah. of the car? And, and sorry, and you have you have that directness of electric drive. So people might think, oh, I'm going to miss shifting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's not, just not when you have the. Yeah, you know, when like you got that. You don't miss anything. You just, you just explode. What is the off. price of the car? Uh, the base price is one million eight hundred ninety thousand dollars. Okay. And then and you can have fully robotized body. You don't have to touch anything. The doors open and close with soft close. Oh wow! And rear bonnet. Okay, kind of like last year. Did, with, is it? Are you doing an iPhone app sort of thing? Yeah, yeah iPhone, You can control the whole car. Really? The so this, the wi rear wing here is it's the world's first top-mounted, fully foldable active rear wing. On the one-to-one, -one, we did the world's first yeah, top-mounted yeah, so, active. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now I'm going to be the hydraulics of the car. But, uh, so it's 
Fully so oh, that wow. will be high. You, you yeah. just did that manually yeah, for yeah. us, but it's you can do. Yeah. Got you. Wow. And it's now very slippery like that. Yeah, right? it's, you know, it's, it's for um, elegance yeah. and highway crossing. You want to say fuel, you don't need there. Yeah. And do you have regenerative braking on this car or no? Oh, yeah, that? of course. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. Of Torque vector, regenerative Torque braking, everything. Yeah. Wow. All the styles. Wow. I have to tell you, Christian, this is, uh, I mean, I've been following your company and you, and uh, this is. Uh, my question, does features. it look like a Koenigsegg or does it look like... Oh, no, 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 it does, it has, it has the design lines, I love the front end. Uh, by the way, I love the fact that all your cars are removable, right, well, right. virtually all of them are removable yeah, yeah, yeah. roofs, and it does, and it keeps the look and lines of the car, it's just beautiful. Yeah, I know, I've, It's like, uh, yeah, got a more elegant version of ourselves, yeah. I guess. Yeah, yeah. Right. So I've been wanting to see your cars for years, but this is my first time overseas, and right, I've never seen right. it. Okay, right. The battery charging, battery charging port. Oh my god! That's a pretty cool place to put it. Just in the back. Yeah, it's different. Everybody else is putting it up high. Thank you. Yeah. No. That's much better. Holy cow. Yeah. 